Hello everyone and welcome back to Fate Brand Order. Somehow, um, part of what I recorded for yesterday's video didn't get saved. So I'm gonna redo it. Obviously this won't be my, um, actual live reactions and I won't be able to do the fight, but at least it's just one little section here, so this ought to be quick. I honestly thought more got cut off. Hmm. I'm glad we now have four of the five treasures, but we still haven't had any luck with the fifth. What even is a swallow's cowrie anyways? And what's a shell doing in a swallow's nest in the first place? I've been known to partake in the occasional swallow's nest dish myself. Does this mean this so-called shell is a swallow that is eaten like a shellfish? No, no, I doubt it's anything as awful as that. In the tale of the bamboo cutter, the five treasures are precious things meant to be impossible to obtain. The swallow's cowrie is a shell that a swallow happened to pick up and carried back to its nest, where it served as the base for the nest. It's easily the most realistic of all the five treasures. The catch is that finding one is all a matter of luck. I see. So it is something born of coincidence that can never be acquired through necessity. Well, if our only choice is to rely on luck, there's little point in dwelling on it. Master, might I suggest we visit the hot springs to clear our heads? And at the hot springs we meet. And so, here we are. Kojiro! <laughs> I see. You have been doing this- you have been doing much to aid this in. I have nothing but admiration for your willingness to help. I had no idea it was in such dire straits. That is why I have been here indulging myself in these hot springs since lunchtime. Compared to all of your valiant efforts, I may as well be an evanescent cloud in the autumn sky. Ha 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 ha. All that aside, five precious treasures, you say? What a fiendishly difficult task. And yet, something seems amiss. You say this was the bamboo cutter from the tale of the same name? According to that tale, his adopted daughter Kaguya-hime said, said the following to the five men who came from the city to seek her hand in marriage. I cannot understand why any of you would wish to marry me when you know nothing of who I am. If you wish to take me for your bride, you must show that your love for me will never fade. She told each only to return after they had found one of five impossible treasures as proof of their love. Each of the five suitors set off to find the treasures as best they could, but not a one succeeded. Which is why I find it strange that this bamboo cutter claimed to possess all five of them. Yep. Then does that mean... I never expected that you would now be undergoing the same trials depicted in that old tale. Indeed, I am surprised you have time to luxuriate in the hot springs yourself. I wish I could help you, but alas, the only thing I am good at is swinging a pole. Unlike the rest, I soar not through the sky, nor spark flashes of light or any other remarkable deeds. As such, all I can do for you is rattle this cowrie and pray for your success. <laughs> Forgive me. Hey? Yes. What is it, Lord Cursor? Is there something you wish to know about my rare seashell accessory? Showing it off. <laughs> Forgive me, I could not resist my poor attempt at humor. I always thought it was strange why an insignificant servant like myself found my way to the Enmite. But now I finally understand. Here, I am happy to let you have this shell.
Really? Just like that? For reference, this section does have a battle against an assassin. <laughs> I am not so poor as to draw my blade over a single sh shell, nor so quick to anger that I would challenge another over it. Now then, I think I shall be on my way. My only regret is that I never got to duel the madam during my stay. I would have liked to know if my secret sword is strong enough to stand up to that sparrow. But alas, I will have to hope that question is answered another day. And there's monkeys! Those are the assassins! <laughs> Special translation. Catch them off guard before battle. So that's what you call military tactics, huh? <laughs> and we got the shell. We did it. We got the swallow's cowrie. And this little section has been short enough that I can probably just put it in front of the next video, honestly. So, yeah, that's what I'll do. <laughs> Hello, everyone, and welcome back to Fate Grand Order. As a reminder, this video has been recorded ahead. Honestly, by the time this one comes out, the event might even be over. Uh, no, maybe not. But yeah, this is recorded in advance. <laughs> So, section 11. We did it. We finally have all five of the Bamboo Cutter's treasures. To be honest, I didn't think we were going to pull it off. I should have known better. Though don't think I've forgotten how you went about getting the dragon's head gems. In the end, Matei's keep has been restored. You thought that part rather important, didn't you, Finn? Indeed. We, we need to have everything look exactly as it did 500 years ago. I believe the term for it is on-site inspection. Even better, it doubles as a lookout tower. It should let us bear witness to all sorts of things, just like Caldea's simulator. If we can recreate the scene of the crime 500 years ago, we should see exactly what happened. Now that the building is restored to its past state, and with my clairvoyance, which allows me to see things clearly and with incredible detail, I can... <laughs> Huh? Finn just started sucking his thumb, Master. <sighs> I know it's to get the the knowledge from the salmon or whatever, but it's still so funny. <sighs> oh ho, that is the very noble phantasm that saved the knights of Fiona's lives on more times than I can count. Fintan Finicus, the thumb of knowledge. Uh, sucking his thumb is a noble phantasm. Is that true? There certainly are a lot of strange heroic spirits from the West. Blackbeard and Jekyll come to mind. What's wrong with Jekyll? I am not sucking my thumb. Thank you very much. I'll have you know I am biting it. <laughs> Did he just start to glow even while he was shouting? <laughs> of course, the Salmon of Knowledge. Yep. It's a story that dates back to when Finn McCool was apprenticed to, to a druid named Finnegus. Together they caught a rainbow-colored salmon that was said to impart wisdom to whomever ate it. Finn cleaned and cooked the fish in order to serve it to his mentor, but then... Yes. 
Some of the salmon's oil got on Finn's thumb while he was cooking it. And that caused its wisdom crystals to reside within Finn's thumb. Indeed. It scares me that he could have intentionally had fate work in his favor like that. <laughs> no, as much as I wish I could claim credit for that, it really was just a coincidence. It's one of the most embarrassing episodes of my entire life. But my mentor, Finnegus, just smiled and told me this was how it should be. He said that the salmon of knowledge was part of nature, and that my actions were similarly natural. In which case, it's only right that it resides in you. But you must forgive me if I take pity on you, golden-haired McCool. After all, you will need to bite your thumb at every sign of trouble from here on. It makes me laugh just thinking about it. <sighs> I, I see. He did have a point. <laughs> of course, I was still happy with this outcome. <laughs> Finnegus had been searching for the salmon his whole life, yet he was still happy that I received its wisdom, even after I inadvertently stole it from him. And that's one of the least outlandish things that happened to me. Really, it's no wonder I became the captain of the Knights of Fiona. <laughs> uh, no more humble bragging. You can be humble or you can brag, but not both at the same time. <laughs> and what is it you're pondering with your salmon imparted wisdom right now, anyway? I'm looking at the facts of this case, of course. There are any number of ways to learn about the past. Some use mystic eyes or crystals to view it directly. Others use accurate information and reconstruction. I favor the latter method, of course. Here in this lookout tower, I was able to recreate the Enmite's previous state in my mind. Whoa. Then you know who took the treasures? Oh, I already knew that beyond any doubt. No, I merely wanted to know what the room looked like, ba looked like back then. As long as I can calculate that, all that remains is to resolve this to the best of our shared ability. You mean, as in all of us? That's right. Figuring the one responsible was easy, but proving it will be far more difficult. Yep. Not even collecting all five treasures will be enough to handle everything. Hmm, I see. Yes, these are indeed five treasures, but they are not the ones I had stolen. They may be the same objects, but their value differs greatly. I don't want just any old treasures returned to me, they must be the ones that were taken. If the bamboo cutter counters along those lines, and make no mistake, he almost certainly will, we won't have a leg to stand on. So, you're saying the bamboo cutter never actually wanted to be compensated for his treasures? That he was actually after the enmite from the start? Yep. I believe so. I think he is only pretending to act in good faith and is actually running a scam. That's what I've been saying! Then, if the five treasures still won't be enough to convince him, what else can we do? Easy. We fight cunning with cunning. In fact, the reason I asked you all here was to help me prepare one last finishing touch. Oh, by the way, Kiyohime, is it true you can tell when someone is lying? Of course. I've never let any man get away with a falsehood. Hmm. What about Madame Benny Enma? Is she capable of seeing through lies, too? No. Miss Benny Enma doesn't have any such ability. She just punishes people when they're caught lying. She learned her Enjaku Batojutsu from the great King Enma himself. Once it becomes clear that someone is lying, that's when she'll cut off their tongue on the spot. Good, good. That should help us push the one responsible over the edge. Alright everyone, gather round and I'll explain the plan. In essence, we'll all be putting on a performance. Or, in the language of a middle-aged man we know, a con. <laughs> Oh boy. Where is... here it is.
this is it. Yes, today's the day when the bamboo cutter promised to come back. <laughs> so you all knew? I was hoping to resolve this matter without involving any of you. We're all employees, we can't just let this slide. I see. Well, if you're here as employees, rather than out of a misguided sense of obligation, I have no reason to refuse. My, my, so many serious faces. What brings you all out here this early in the morning? You obviously aren't here to throw a party. Ho ho, this mean the Enmite's story is finally coming to an end? I appreciate all you employees coming out to greet me like this. Then again, I suppose you must all you must all face it, as I've been waiting a hundred years as I've been waiting hundreds of years to be repaid. Still, you can't fill a ledger with sentiment alone, so let's get to it, shall we? You can start by paying me back last year's interest. One hundred Billion QP. Jesus Christ. Did he just say billion? With a B? Please calm down, Master. I agree it's a shocking amount, but that isn't the strange part. I'm very sorry, sir, but I can't pay your interest. The divine aura in the offering box is off limits right now, so... I can at least take the sage cloak to a pawn shop. It may not look like much, but it was given to me by the King of Hell himself. As long as we find a buyer, I think it should be able to cover the interest. Absolutely not. I've extended the deadline more than enough. Whatever reasons you have for your inability to pay are none of my concern. And who in their right mind would pay anything for such a ratty old cloak? If you can't even pay back the interest, then I have no choice but to seize the Enmite. I'm afraid that as of this moment, the Enmite belongs to me. I have to ask that you all leave my property at once. Oh yes, I suppose the sparrows can stay, since they essentially come with it. Naturally, I now own them as well. It's unfortunate that they're all a bunch of useless oafs. Perhaps they'll make at least make a good meal for the tiger. part of our agreement hold it right there <sighs> Carissa what is it what are you all doing yes what's this about human this arrangement is legal and binding do you have some objection to it you bet we do fuck you how deplorably insolent. You should be ashamed for speaking to your elders like that. Fuck you. But I suppose I can overlook your rudeness, given how young and ignorant you are. Now, what is this objection? It's in regards to the deal you struck with Miss Benny Enma, of course. You claim that your invaluable treasures were stolen in the Enmite. Miss Benny Ann Moe was unable to find the culprit or clear her employees of suspicion, so she promised to pay you damages. Do I have all that right? Yes, that's exactly what happened. What of it? <laughs> In that case, we can put this whole matter to rest right now. Can't we, Lady Tomoe? Yes, we can. I have wonderful news for you, Lord Bamboo Cutter. Our leader, Finn McCool... A glorious man possessed of wisdom and clairvoyance easily managed to recover your stolen treasures. <gasps> you don't say. That is most impressive. But those are merely substitutes you acquired from who knows where else, no? The only treasures I'm interested in are the ones I had taken from me back then. My irreplaceable keepsakes of the time Kaguya and I spent to get- 
Worry not, good elder. I am aware that not but the treasures you lost 500 years ago will satisfy you. So please rest assured, those are exactly the treasures we have procured. What was that? Did I hear you right? Are you truly telling me you can return the treasures that had been stolen from me 500 years ago right here, right now? Of course. Come with us and I'll show you what I mean. Let us return to the scene of the crime, the very raven room you've stayed in 500 years ago. That's not the usual wallpaper for this hallway. It almost looks as if... <gasps> this hallway. This door. It can't be. It's not possible. It's the exact same room as back then? Of course. We're now in the Enmite as it existed 500 years ago, after all. See? Isn't that your pouch in the middle of the room? <laughs> as luck would have it, our own Finn McCool here can manipulate time and space itself. <laughs> oh my god. That's what we're going with? Really? <sighs> A little snap of his fingers and voila, here we are. Ah, it's good to have such capable subordinates. Th this is impossible! Only a divine spirit could do something like that. Huh? You mean you really don't know? Huh? Hold on. I've never heard of this Finn whatever before. It's time to face the facts, old lumberjack. The past is now our present. All you have to do now is open your pouch and take back your treasures. Of course, then the pouch will be empty again, and the you of 500 years in the past won't know where his treasures went. <laughs> you might think that makes this one of those time paradoxes, but no, it all works out nicely. This way, it will just mean that you were the true thief all along. Now go on, take your treasures, clear the Enmite's debt, and leave this place for good. This... This can't be happening. You might want to hurry up. This time travel spell won't last very long. If you don't take your precious treasures back now, you'll never get another chance. That's right. Go on, hurry up. I know you can do it. <laughs> this is like something out of a storybook. I can't wait to see you open it. Um, well, um... You see, I'm not... What's wrong? Aren't you going to open it? Surely there can't be any reason why you would be reluctant to see what's inside. Is there? <laughs> Mr. Bamboo Cutter? Is everything okay? Y Yes, everything's fine. Of course I'll open it. If... if this really is the Raven Room from 500 years ago, then... He opened it! Now then! So those are Mr. Bamboo Cutter's treasures! That pouch contains the five treasures we all work together to collect. There's no way he can claim that they're fakes under these circumstances. And if he instead denies that this room isn't really from the past... <laughs> Liars! I knew we hadn't really gone back in time. You were all just putting on an act to make me think we had. If this really was the past, there wouldn't be anything in this pouch. I never brought any treasures with me to begin with. Uh. <laughs> I'm sorry, Mr. Bamboo Cutter. Could you repeat that? Did you really just say you never had any treasures to begin with? You, you've got it all wrong, madam. That's not what I meant. You were there, right, Moneyed Monkey? You were my eyewitness back then, weren't you? Oh, yes, of course. 
Back in the dining room, I distinctly remember seeing the treasures in that pouch with my own... Something doesn't smell right here. You're lying, aren't you? Uh, of course not. I saw them, I know I did. The treasures were right there. Then please describe them to us. What did the jeweled branch smell like? How heavy was the begging bowl? How many dragon's head gems were there? What color was the cowrie? If you really saw them, you should be able to name at least one of their distinctive features. Uh, well, uh... Whoops, pardon me. You know how we cats are. We just can't leave open pouch strings untied. Ugh, stupid feline. I'll ask you one more time, Mr. Bamboo Cutter. Did you or did you not bring treasures to the Enmite? Uh, I... I did. Of course I did. I'm the bamboo cutter from the story. Of course I'd have all five of the treasures. You are lying. Did she just cut his mask off before I could blink? Gah! I won't punish you for your scheme. I should have known better than to fall for it. But I refuse to tolerate lies. <laughs> you little sparrow. How dare you hurt my face. You'll pay. You'll pay for this. You think you can win again just because you have the numbers? You little brats really piss me off. The bamboo cutter spirit origin pattern is changing rapidly. It looks like... It's demonic in nature? Stupid brats. I was just having some fun messing with this gullible little twerp. Why'd you cretins have to butt into our game here, huh? Two moneyed monkeys? Wait, no. Does this mean the bamboo cutter was actually moneyed monkey all along? It's not that, Tomoe. I hate to admit it, but this monkey's just like Miss Benny Enma. He dwells in old folk tales just as much or just as she does. An evil monster without a name who likes to toy with, laugh at, and devour the weak. I'm guessing that masked monkey claiming to be the bamboo cutter is actually I don't know which one I would guess this one up top. The monkey from the quarrel of the monkey and the crab? Yeah, that's right. I'm the ape who got ganged up on by a bunch of lousy do-gooders. Anyway, looks like the jig is up. Snake, tiger, get your asses over here. We're going back to normal. Well, I suppose I should have known this was coming. Oh boy. Those two were in on it too? And what is that thing? It looks like it has a monkey's face, a tiger's body, and a snake for a tail? They must have split into three in order to infiltrate the Enmite. A particular creature that caws like a bird at night, with numerous grudges and a loss of identity. Now I see, it must have put up a bounded fe field to keep out seasoned monster slayers. Tawara and Raiko never came despite their obvious fit here. You probably targeted them specifically. Don't pretend like you know me, bitch. What makes you any different from me? You're just as monstrous as I am and you know it. Your act now isn't going to change a thing. <laughs> now I've got gotcha. you. It jumped out the window, and from the sound of its footsteps, it's headed for the shrine! I still don't know exactly what that thing is, but it's clear it wants to harm the Enmite. It must mean to destroy the shrine! Well, come on, let's hurry! Indeed, if it thinks it can run around destroying whatever it likes, it is sorely mistaken. Well, we will all protect the inn together. Oh, 
boy, oh boy. Wow, Tomoe, you sent it. <laughs> that is the sanity splitting cry of a demonic bird. Just as described in the Kojiki. This is definitely the Nue. The Nue, huh? But when you heard its fearsome cry, you did not back down. I see you have decided to reveal your true nature as well, beautiful Oni warrior. Forget that! I simply decided that if we are facing a demonic opponent, I would hold nothing back in my attempts to see it soundly destroyed. Oh ho! Changing clothes to match the occasion? I like your style. In that case, don't mind if I do the same. That's right! I'm going to defeat this beast with the ultimate beauty. Say hello to Summer Tamamo. It's January. Ugh, you mean Tamamo Shark? What's your plan? Fight evil with even more evil? Are you guys for real? You actually came to get slaughtered on your own accord? Huh, what a laugh. I knew you were dumb, but I didn't think you were this dumb. Fine then, I'll let you off the hook. Just stay out of my way, and I'll forget how much you pissed me off. You let us off the hook? You're the one who's cornered here, monkey mask said the beautiful, cool-headed warrior princess Kiyohime as she changed into her battle dress. <laughs> huh? You think I'm cornered? Or all you dragons actually soft in the head or something? There's no way you chumps can beat me. I've been collecting the Enmite's divine aura for almost 500 years. Even you losers ought to know how strong that stuff is after all your slaving away here. I could kill a hundred of you dinky heroic spirits and still have energy to spare. I'm not going anywhere till you're all dead. The shrine's busted up and I've eaten every last sparrow. Uh, he's right about one thing. That's a lot of magical energy. Spare us the self-congratulations. I see now that the only way to settle this is by the blade. I take it you have no intention of turning yourself into Enma's court, Mr. Monkey Mask Monster. Dumbass. Why should I go out of my way just to visit stupid old hell? Then as Enma's representative, answer me this. Why did you do it? Is this all to take revenge for what happened to you in the quarrel of the monkey and the crab? Is it because you kept getting pigeonholed as a bad guy even though you were just trying to live your life? <laughs> After all that, you're still trying to make allowances for my circumstances? You really are a hopeless idiot. You think this is about revenge? You want to know why I did this? Because it's fun, of course. There's nothing better than tricking a bunch of happy-go-lucky simpletons. Except maybe for watching a bunch of weak little shits work themselves to death for nothing. <laughs> Understood. So you have no intention of facing Hell's judgment. You also say you have no intention of reforming and no need for a chance to reduce your sentence. In that case, I will see that justice is done in Enma's stead. I will see you cast into San Sanjiva, Kalasutra, and Maharava? I think. And fare you straight into Avicii. Even the great Oni quake in fear of the Sparrow Sword. In Jaku Batojutsu, the last light your eyes will see. Oh wow, the new way gets a custom sprite. Four? I'm sorry, four? 
four fucking HP bars. Jesus Christ, okay. Oh shit, it had an evade up. Oh, what? Huh? She'd still hit it. What? <coughs> okay, what is this buff it's getting? Oh, just no quick. Oh. <laughs> then I guess having Fran out here is kind of useless. Why no quick specifically? Uh, maybe it'll change? That's the only explanation I can think of. Like, it'll change as I get the HP bars down. Oh no, wait, that one's Buster. Okay, so it's just random. Okay. That was Buster again. Okay, cool. Cool, cool. Grand's turn. Alright, Maeve, let's stack those debuffs. Fight is gonna take forever. Shit, I don't have my command skills either, do I? No, I do not. And I'm not gonna get them back in time either. Arts again? Oh, 
hearts again. Stop it. Yeah, somehow I feel like I'm gonna fail this one on the first time. Okay, finally. One HP bar. I feel like I'm gonna have to do this fight again. That, or just toss some sink courts at it. <laughs> Is that Buster? Yep. So what is this? Ah. Wait, I missed seeing what the thing was. Quick, okay. God, it's like fighting the Izo challenge quest. Gil fest. And down goes Fran. Of course, of course. Of course it'd be arts.
き分けの前お客スパッと切るべきはあ slowly but surely chipping away at it Buster, and of course it's on a turn where I have three Buster cards up. And down goes Benyanma. This is going so badly. HP bars down. <laughs> what? Oh, 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 thank God. <sighs> that million HP just gave me the biggest scare of my life. <laughs> What's going on here? Snake mask, tiger mask, why are you slowing me down instead of helping? Who do you think you- who do you think ate you good for nothings up when you had no name and nowhere to go? Don't you dare get in my way now! Don't you dare defy me! What's wrong with you morons? Its spirit origin is splitting apart. No, wait, I think it's self-destructing? I'm not defying you. I'm a body without a head. You have all the smarts. I have no choice but to do what you say. I can't help Benny, even if I want to. I'm still me. You lost because you weren't strong enough. I'll just say one last thing before I go. I may not have a head, but you have nothing. Stupid stray! How dare you talk to me like that! Well, fine. I never expected you to be useful anyway. Especially since I knew you felt bad for her. But what's your excuse, Snake Mask? You shouldn't have any reason to hide with the- to side with the sparrows. True, I- er, true, I don't. But even so... Oh no, oh no, oh no. This is bad. This is very, very bad. I'm cursed, I know it. We've really messed things up now. Oh no, oh no, oh no. This is bad. This is so bad. Moneyed Monkey's gonna kill me. No, wait, I'll be kicked out of the inn before he'll get the chance. What am I gonna do? I don't have any money or anywhere else I can go. A measly little spirit like me won't last a day outside the Enmite. Huh? Um? Th 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 that wasn't my fault, right? You guys did that all on your own, right? Please, you have to keep quiet about me. I'll disappear forever if they kick me out. Uh, alright. 
I don't know what your story is, but I know what it's like to find yourself in a corner. Very well, go on then. I'll tell whoever asks that me and my men were the only ones here. Huh? Really? Are you sure? Hurry up! Can't you hear that alarm blaring? You didn't mean for this to happen, right? Besides, this was mostly my fault for not trusting my own magecraft knowledge before opening the lid. But don't count on me too much. I have this bad habit of absolutely falling apart under intense scrutiny. <sighs> I can't blame Magistrate Tiger for going soft. Our type just can't help but be grateful for small kindnesses. Besides, this world and I have had a very good run. At least I got to feast my eyes on a gorgeous looker and had some genuinely fun drinks before I go. Sorry, monkey, but this is where we part ways. I can't deal with your cruelty anymore, and, well, I never liked being the tail. <laughs> How dare you! How dare you! How dare you third-rate chumps ascend before me! You're both useless without me! Get back here! Get back here, damn it! I'm the head of this operation! You're supposed to do what I say! Ah, damn it all! What's the use of being a genius if you can't do anything without a tail and a body? Now do you understand? This is where the path you chose ends. Hm? Those who lie solely for their own pleasure, who have not but envy for others' happiness, will never have anyone come to their aid. Enma's court is now adjourned. You may try again from the depths of hell. Oh, for fuck's sake. Okay, then. Anyways. Oh, yeah. That thing. That was a lot of text. <laughs> uh, okay, where's the next thing? Ah. Here. Oh, is that the ending? Huh. In that case, I think I will end this video here. Um, if you've enjoyed the video, leave a like, leave a comment, subscribe if you haven't yet. If you in Hi, Ella. <laughs> Hi. If you enjoy my videos, um, your friends probably will too, so, you know, tell them about it. It would make things so much better, <laughs> so much better for me. Just, you know, it would help having, it would help if you told more people about my channel. Wording. Um, uh, my coffee link is in the description as usual. Um, if you would like to leave me a tip. You know, no obligation, no pressure, but it's super appreciated and super helps. And that's it. So I'll see you all next time for what may be the finale?